God's glory. Twelve powerful scriptures with prayer. We have all had those times when we heard someone pray and wish or say to ourselves, I wish I prayed like that. I can only imagine how disciples felt hearing Jesus pray in John 17. The truth, Jesus is drawn to anyone on or any way he is glorified and to show forth his glory in our lives, which the Holy Spirit, the power that reveals his greatness, love and splendor, he is quick to lift up any who will forever give glory to the Son. I pray you begin at a different level in life, even as you listen to two powerful scriptures of God's glory, meditate and pray the fulfillment of the same in your life. Psalm 19 verse 1 The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the works of his hands. 1 Chronicles 29 verse 11 Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power of the glory, and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heavens and in the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 He is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of his nature. And he upholds the universe by the words of his power. After making purifications for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. John chapter 1 verse 14 And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen his glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 And we all with unveiled face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19 to 20. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Romans chapter 4, verse 20. Romans chapter 4, verse 20. Yet it did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God. 2 Corinthians 4, 6. For God who said, Let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. John 1, 14. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31 So whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16 I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his Spirit, in the inner being. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 15. All this is for your benefit, so that the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause thanksgiving to overflow in the glory of God. Philippians chapter 2, verse 10 to 11. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of the Father. Amen. Luke chapter 2 verse 14. Glory to God in the highest heavens, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Say this, Father, just as your word reveals your glory, let your glory be revealed in my life. Let me be focused on glorifying Jesus in my life and all that I lay my hands to do. Just like John chapter 17 verse 1 reveals, when Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the honor has come. Glorify your Son, that the Son may glorify you. Father, glorify your Son, that your Son may glorify you. Let my life radiate your glory that we may be transformed to the image of Christ 
even now and forevermore. Amen. If you have said this prayer, the rest are sure that you will reveal God's glory even in your life beyond your comprehension, beyond your expectation. If you truly believe, you can rejoice and begin to say, Thank you, Lord Jesus. God bless you real good. Hello there, my name is Udwan Akpan. Thank you so much for watching today's teaching. If this has really blessed you, please do not forget to subscribe and to like and also to share. There could be somebody out there that just needs to also hear what you just listened to. I want to also, by this video, encourage you to become the journalist of your life. Taking note of some things the Holy Spirit might want to impute into your spirit. God wants to start with a new generation he can depend on. God depends on us to pass the message of hope around. Of course, you know there are so many deteriorating messages going on around, but God needs you as the salt of the earth and the light of the world to pass the message of hope and let people know what he can actually do in this time and dispensation. And that is where God so much depends on you. Thank you so much. See you another time. God bless you real good.